Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So today I will show you how you can do the threaded iCloud bypass on the T2 MacBooks on the activation lock screen on the latest iBridge OS. 9.0 or lower on the latest mac os sequoia you can check out the supported model list on the screen these models are supported for this process so first you need to download the latest hfz t2 ram disk version 3 this is the new version in that they are only one click tool so it's very easy as compared to the older version and to download this you need to check out the description link or you can go to my blog and you will easily download the tools from there after the download you can simply Simply install it on your system. Now once you have installed, you can run the tool. This is the tool interface, latest HFZ T2 RAM disk activator version 3. Now next, you need to connect both these Macs with the Type-C to C cable at the closest port that is the left port. So you can just connect it and use the good quality C to C cable at both the ends. Now next, before we do the bypass process, make sure your blocked MacBook has the latest iBridge OS version installed. So if you have not installed that, you can just put the MacBook into the DFU mode and download the Apple Configurator 2 and restore your MacBook to the latest version. And after that, you can follow the instruction of the bypass. I've already done the restore process before this, so I will directly continue the bypass process. Now next you need to put the locked Mac into the DFU mode so you can check out the button combination as per the model on the internet. I will display the screenshot on the screen for your help. Now once your Mac is in the DFU mode, it will detect by the HFZ tool and iTunes. After that, you need to first register the ECID in the server. So for that, just copy the ECID that are showing on the HFZ tool and send me this ECID plus model on my personal telegram and I will register your device. After the registration, you can instantly use the tool. Then you need to just click on the patch button and after that, just wait for the process to begin and you will see the checkmate exploit and some verbose boot on the locked MacBook touch bar. So just wait for it to get complete. Alright now the patch is done and now tool will ask you to boot it so it's manually processed you just need to click on the power button on the Mac and immediately press the recovery mode option so that we can install the process. So you have to be a little quick here just press the power button once then immediately press the command plus R or command plus option plus R these two options is available for the recovery mode to install the os command plus r will give you the default os comes with your mac and command plus option plus r will give you the latest os from the apple server So now you need to connect with the Wi-Fi and proceed further and it will take some time and make sure your internet is fast so that Apple server can download the files and install the OS on your system. If your internet is slow, you might face some errors. So make sure connect with a fast Wi-Fi and then proceed and both the recovery mode option is working. If you face any error in the first one, you can try the second one or if you face any error in the second one, you can try the first option.
All right, now we are in the recovery mode. Simply select the language and proceed. Now you will see this recovery part from here. So now you need to first erase your SSD. So go to the disk utility. In the command plus R, the option might be different as per the recovery mode section. Now just erase the SSD and make the new partition and just follow me. Alright now the SSD is erased and just go back and now install the OS. Now click on continue. Now here I have used the new recovery mode option key that is the option plus command plus R. That's why it's showing me the new macOS Sequoia or macOS Sonoma. So if you have used command plus R only that will give you the older version that is the default like Mojave, Catalina or High Sierra as per your model. Now let's just wait for it to get complete. I will just fast forward the video so that it will save time. Now the OS installation is done. After that, your Mac will be reboot and on to the setup page. But in some cases, it will show activation lock screen again. This will only show if you have used the new recovery mode that is the option plus command plus R. But more likely if you have used older recovery mode that is CMD plus R, the activation lock screen will not come. It will directly go to the setup page and then bypass will be done. But if you see the activation lock screen again, you can follow the further guide. Now put your MacBook into the DFU mode again and open the HFZ tool and click on patch and then simply on your Mac and it will directly go to the setup page. And sometime you have to patch multiple times until you will see the setup page. So simply try it again and again. When you see the setup page, you can stop there and continue the setup of Mac. Alright now the patch is done, click on OK and now simply power on your MacBook. Now we are done and you can see that we are on the setup page. Now simply set up the device. Connect with the Wi-Fi and just set up it. Now you can see the data and privacy page that means the activation lock is completely bypassed. Now we are here to set up to the home screen.
all right now we are done welcome to the mac and you can see that we have successfully bypassed the macbook t2 chipset on the latest ibridge os 9 on the latest mac os sequoia so it's a one click tool it's very easy you just need to put into the dfu mode and patch it and after that install os and the bypass will be done so you can check out that it's working good But there are some limitations as in the starting I mentioned it's a threaded bypass. So to reboot and shut down the Mac there are some special instruction. You need to always on or off Mac from the Apple menu options instead of power button. Because if you directly use the power button or your battery will be lost you just need to patch it again to revive your Mac. So always use the Apple menu option to reboot or shut down your Mac that will be safe and easy for you. So let me just show you how you can safely reboot your MacBook from the Apple menu options and if in case you have used power button by mistake or your battery is completely low how you can revive that in that condition you don't have to repeat the complete bypass you just need to put your MacBook into the TFU mode and simply patch it again and after that it will revive with all your data saved so let me just show you an example how you can do all this now to safely reboot the mac i will click on the restart button from the apple menu and simply restart it so we have used the restart option from the apple menu so that's completely safe in that we can normally reboot the device without lock again and let me just show you and i will on it again and it will still remain same So you can see that I have reboot the Mac from the Apple option and it's working good after the reboot. So this is how you can safely reboot your MacBook T2 chipset threaded bypass on the latest Ibridge OS 9 on the latest Mac OS Sequoia and just safely preserve the bypass. So this is the very good and a simple trick how you can do that. Now let me just show you another condition. Now in case if you have used or by mistake the power button or your battery is lost completely in that case you will see this activate mac or activation lock screen again but it's very simple i will just show you a trick to revive your mac so that you don't have to repeat the whole bypass again you just need to put your macbook into the dfu mode at this stage and open the hfz tool and click on patch and that's it after the patch done your mac will be revived again and where you left it will just resume that so let me just show you how you can do that. So now you can see I've used the power button by mistake just to show you and it is on this activate Mac screen again. Now to revive it, it's very simple. You just log in to your Mac. It will show you iCloud activation lock screen again. Now you have to put your MacBook into the DFU mode again and simply patch it from the HFZ tool. Let me just show you how you can do that. So now the DFU is done on the lock pack. Now click on the patch button and wait for the completion. Alright now the patch is done, now simply power on your Mac.
So now you can see the mark is revived and on again normally without data loss where you left. So it's very easy if you have used the power button accidentally you can revive the mac with a single patch button and if you want to reboot or shut down your mac normally just use the apple menu options that will be safe for you all right so that's all for today's video session i hope you guys enjoyed it if yes please hit the like button on this video and share it with your friend as these type of videos take long time to record and edit so please support this channel and video i will see you in another one so till then goodbye take care and peace out